Hello friends, in this video we will see strings or also called as character arrays in C programming, the C language. So character arrays are nothing but, uh, strings are nothing but a character array, similar to any array in the C language. So we declare a variable A of size 10 as char and the size is 10. So you can see it is stored similar to any array. Uh, any integer or float array. Arrays are zero indexed. And if the array size is 10, the last index will be 9. So we'll see some declaration, initialization. So to declare an array, we have to use the keyword care and the variable name you can use any valid variable, uh, variable name which we already uh, discussed in the previous videos. So A is the uh, variable and we can initialize it on the same line as we do it as we have done it here. You can see uh, using a curly braces and inverted commas for every character and every character should be separated by a comma. So this way we can say M in inverted comma and then comma and again in inverted comma A and again comma and again inverted comma C and again comma. Again we have also provided a space character inverted uh, in the inverted comma and then we have provided comma. So similarly we can uh, give any character. We don't have to sp specify the size even so it automatically takes the size from this de uh, initialization. So you can see a character in the last. So this looks like a uh, two characters. This looks like two characters, but actually this is a single character. This is called null character in C. So it has a single ASCII value. So uh, in C programming or C language, null character is considered as the end of string. So strings are nothing but null terminated arrays. So if the array is terminated as null, we can consider it as a string if it's of a type character C share char. So we have declared in the second line a same uh, similar e character A is equal to here also we have not specified space. We can say double quote Mac space computer space computer space education and double quote that is double inverted comma closed. So this way we can initialize. We don't have to give null null symbol here in this uh, declaration or initialize in this initialization because the compiler I will consider all the characters here and will insert a null character at the end of the string after the a last character that is education n after the n a null character will be inserted. So this way compile automatically puts a null character then we can just declare the variable of size 25 and we can initialize it later in the program or take input from the keyboard so we'll see first we'll see output uh, before that you can see here this is how it will be saved in the computer when we declare it when we say mac education in double quotes it stores like this so on the last a null character will be appended uh, to this array and we don't have to put a null character when we declare uh, when we initialize it in a double inverted commas so if we initialize like this in single inverted comma in the curly braces we have to put the null character at the last so then it will be considered as a, a string a string array and if we don't uh, provide a null character at the end of uh, all the characters it is not considered as strings we'll see later why it is not considered as uh, how it is uh, visible to us that it is not considered as a string after some examples so we'll see a uh, few examples in this video the first example would be how to take the outputs output values of a string so we have we'll see how to output values of a character array or a string we have declared a variable a of type char and we have initialized with a sentence mac computer education mac space computer space education so a null character will be initialized or yeah it will be appended to the string mac computer education 
So I have declared a variable int i is equal to zero and uh, declared i and initialize it to zero. So we will consider this as a loop variable. So now if we say while a of i not equal to null. So if you have any doubts in the while loop, you can go back to the uh, loops uh, video where we have done while loop and then recall if you have forgotten how the while loop works. So here uh, a of i is the location uh, is the value at the location a of zero. A of zero is checked with null character. If it's not a null character, then execute this uh, while loop. So then it will print a character a of zero. So you can see here I have used percentage c for character. So it prints m because a, m, a of zero contains m. And again i increments to one. A of one. Again, it's a and not equal to null. So it prints a here in place of a of i, it will be a of 1. So then it i, I increase to uh, 2, then a of 2, that is c will be checked with null character. c is not equal to null. So it again executes and prints c. And again, it keeps on incrementing every time here. And again, once after, uh, the n is reached, after n, the character will be null. So a of i, that is a of 13, will be null and this loop is stopped here because a of i not equal to null is false. So this way we can print the value of a character array until we get a null character. So the output will be like this. We will see example 2. So we declared a variable c of type character array. And we have initialized with Mac computer education. So in this case also the compiler puts a slash 0. That's the null character at the end of the string. So, But we can see here I am using a single printer statement without a loop to print the uh, values. So you can use percentage yes. So this will consider C as a consider C as a string. You don't have to provide a C of i, C of zero, C of one. You can just say C, whichever the character array name is there. It's nothing but uh, the, the if you just say C in any array, it's just the address. Uh, we'll see in a later videos or the pointer videos. Uh, why C is considered as address if we write C in a character array if you don't mention the index what happens so in this case we don't have to mention the index we have to just say the character array name that is C and print the percentage yes so then it prints Mac computer education so we'll see example 3 in, the, in this case we are not providing a null character at the end so this is actually incorrect way of uh, initializing array. So if we try to print using printf and e percentage yes, so now it will not consider as a string. Percentage yes will work only if it's considered as a string. So in C program, all the strings are null terminated. If you don't terminate, if you don't use a slash zero, then it is not considered as a string. And if you try to print a string, you'll get unexpected outputs like this. So you can see, we gave MAC as input, but the output is something with few symbols along with MAC. So it will not consider it as a character array or string. So it is very important to append a null character at the end of the character array or the string. We we'll see example 4. In this case, we use a scanner statement to take the value from the input. Here also, I'm not using any index. You can see, I, say, I just said, whenever we use percentage yes, we don't have to use uh, index. We, we can just say the name of the uh, string or the character array. Percentage yes, comma C. So we'll take the input from the users. So then we'll print using a printf statement percentage yes comma c here also i'm not using index whenever you use percentage yes you don't have to use uh, index values 
So what happens if you execute this piece of code? So the input if we give Mac computer education, you can see the code again. Uh, I've used the scanf statement percentage yes and printf statement percentage yes. So I'll try to input. I'll if I give input Mac computer education, the output will be only Mac. So what happened? We actually typed Mac computer education. Why is it coming only Mac? So uh, whenever you use a percentage yes, so it will not take multi-word statements. So in this input, you can see it's a multi-word statement with three words separated by space. So percentage yes cannot do a scanf using uh, for using percentage yes you cannot do scanf. For multi-word statements, only word can be one word can be taken by scanf, but the printf will print complete irrespective of the space or the any other character. Printf definitely works, but scanf does not work properly. If you say Mac computer education, only Mac will be taken as a value for array C, and if you try to print array C, it prints only Mac. So how to get rid of this uh, issue? How to fix this issue is we'll see in example five. So here we have to use percentage square bracket the or symbol slash n inside a square bracket before yes to take the multi-word statements from the keyboard. If you want to take multi-word statements into C character array, you have to use Square bracket, the or symbol slash n. So now we'll see if we give an input like Mac Computer Education, we get output Mac Computer Education. So this is very important. A slash n arrow mark slash n. Uh, it's also called as a wild character. So don't worry about this wild characters. Uh, slash the or symbol. So you have to use this. Representation to take a multi-word statement from the keyboard. So there's one more, a better option of taking input without using slash n. That's the arrow mark slash n character. We can take the multi-word statements. We'll see in this example. You can use get c. The meaning is get string. So you can say get c and gets and c only the array name. You don't have to put the array size or array index value. You say get C and then print F as a normal percentage. Yes, C and print the array C. So you get if you type Mac Computer Education, it will print Mac Computer Education. So this way you can uh, avoid using uh, the R slash N symbol to take multi-word statements. This is a very simple statement and every can everyone can use it easily. Gets C. And printf uh, will not worry if it's a multi-word statement or a single-word statement. It will definitely print if you use a percentage yes. Again, we have one more option to use output also. Uh, here we used gets for input. Uh, gets is the best choice even if you are using a single word or a multi-word statement. Gets is a very good choice. And you can use puts p u t s put string. For output, so this is very simple. Now you can say gets C and put C. It will take input from the keyboard and give output to the user or the system. So this is a very easy way of executing a programs, taking character arrays and printing character arrays. So if we say Mac Computer Education, the output will be Mac, Mac Computer Education. Friends, in this video we have learnt about. Uh, Character arrays that is strings. So we'll see more in the upcoming videos. We'll see the programs related to string. Thank you for watching this video.